Fuck, I forgot how to do <laughs> the... I, I, my mind keeps blanking out when I try to figure out how to do the... You want like, to... Uh, uh, rip man! No, 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 Rip man game. Uh, uh, load up one of your vids, see how you started off, just to remind yourself, or... <laughs> I should do that, but fuck it, let's just go. We're playing Guilty Gear today! Motherfucking Guilty Gear! Fucking awesome! God! Brilliant! Fucking! Great! You get the idea. It is the guiltiest of gears. <laughs> it's uh, not, unfortunately, it's not the blazest of blues. No. It's not. And um, Kevin's joining me for this. We're ba going back on the road to Evo. And Gerald, long time no see, man. I was about to say, like, Kevin, jo you're, you're saying, Kevin's joining me, and I was about to go, and you're, you're describing it, and I'm like, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, awkward, awkward. <laughs> I never uh, left. He lives here now. <laughs> I pretty much Kevin do. lives here now. I eat table scraps. <laughs> I'm the little Kev troll that Kevin lives under his back. Table. Kevin never left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think that his mind is no longer in mint condition. <laughs> uh, so, this is going to be the first game that we're going to be doing on this year's Road to Evo trip. we got a bunch of other stuff planned. But for now, let's just hook, go ahead and get this shit started. So, Kevin and Gerald are going to be starting things off here. It is Xard. Exerd. 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 Not Zerd? Zerd. Okay. As long as we, we're all on the same page. <laughs> I haven't played this in a while, but uh, we'll Either, see how it goes. I, I haven't played since we had that last fighting game get together in Ontario at Plumbers. So. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, when it just came out. Yeah. Uh, oh, I By the way, how did, do, you, do you have it? Uh, how do you have the control set up? On oh, the um, you might need to fix it up on your end, but on my, my stick at least, I have it set as punch. Kick slash heavy slash okay. dust or something. I'll, I'll, I'll just use whatever for. Is it? Are you playing? Shoulder to shoulder, we got a trophy right off the fucking bat. Are, are you playing? Uh, what would well, you play normally on this stick I sold to you? Or on I've that been, one? usually I've been playing on this okay. one. The other the other stick I got. I rest on the okay. Well, the so if you guys want to do like a button check. Okay. Right. The jab. There's a kick. Drop the jab. Slash. The heavy slash. And a wobbly. Wobbly whoop. <laughs> okay, this is good enough for me. All right, fuck it. All right then. Wait, that, there's no block button here. I, I already put down a button. Uh, <laughs> We're not playing World block. Combat yet. Well, we can't play today, so. Oh, the weirdness with the controllers. Um, you feel it. You feel the game. Yeah, I mean, that's believe in the dolphins. I'm getting my ass handed to Fuck. <laughs> So Kevin's on on the two player side as May. Gerald is on oh, his plane as Kai. The balls. Ride the lightning! It's well, I think it just operates in a different way. Okay, I guess the dolphin the dolphin still kind of works as. A oh, oh wow! He got me. Running it I, back. I, I just mashed that out. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> so apparently May's canon age is like mid 20s. And yet she looks like she's 13. Well, that's a good that, that's a good thing. So that when she's 30, she only looks like she's 18. I mean, who wouldn't want to look 18 when they're 30? I mean, I, I I'm I, I, a valid I, argument. That's a valid uh, argument. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm approaching like 30. Uh, well, I'm turning 30. I wish I could look 18 again. <laughs> Punch in the face. Only the greatest punch. Only the time. greatest punch. There's this. There's the thumbnail for the for the video. She is uh, wearing the uh, Balrog colors, <laughs> so I need to uh, punch as much as possible this round. Do all the punches. And I hope you guys I don't mind. Pay more attention to my health meter. Yeah, your health drops really quick in this game. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you missed the dolphin! Oh, well, oh, fuck there it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just gonna switch to that stick? You're just gonna sure, move over? I'll just go ahead and okay, use this thing. Easier that way. Just go ahead and slide down under the mic cord there. I do love how everything has writing in this, uh, like in designs they have them if, on If you the hear any crunching, I am eating belt. a chip right now. <laughs> you know? I, I really like how they did this game, stylistically speaking, mm -hmm. because. 
obviously when they announced that they were using the Unreal Engine, it was a huge surprise to everyone. Because you normally it's mostly uh, Western developers that use Unreal. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think the Street Fighter Five, uh, well, Street Fighter Five is using the Unreal Engine too. Is I it? think. I think. No. Uh, don't, like uh, someone on the internet, uh, if I'm wrong, go ahead and kill me on that. Feel free to so. flame us on the comments. <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, I, think, I mean, this game looks really good. Like, it looks like, fucking amazing. I can't even tell yeah. sometimes that it's 3D. Like, it you looks must like it's easy to forget yeah. that it's in 3D because it just yeah. looks so. It looks so, yeah, cel shaded actually. Yeah. See, this is how you do 2D cel shading. Yeah. Hey, pick up some onions, please. Heaven or hell, duel, duel, one, one. Let's rock. All right. Scuffle. Ow. Come on. Come on. Oh crap! Uh, Help! Just mash! Just mash! Just mash! Well, what's this? I've never seen this. Before. It's this. It's like if two attacks clash at the same time, then it just kind of it just it initiates an uh, uh, mode where just every everything does more damage. Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. Like I, it's like I... everything is everything becomes cancelable. The action slows down a bit, or falling speed slows a bit. So that's what is that what hap is there trading in this game or yes is it, or is that the tra is that what happens? Um, it's a ran happens? it's a random chance of happening when uh, two attacks clash with each other. Oh, okay, I was like, whoa, is that like a instant who gets their instant kill or it's like not really? <laughs> it's just like a, a hyper hyper mode where shit just goes nuts. Oh, okay. I really like this game, but it, it does feel like it's a little, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yours! It's hard to master, but it's definitely simpler than, uh, it's, Zerd. I'm not Zerd, uh, Action Core. Core. Uh, that's what I'm gonna say. Well, the, uh, that's why I say it is a more focused yeah. game. I was, to be fair, uh, what, Action Core was, what, how, the, how many... What number iteration of uh, of X Max was it? Uh, like the third or something. There was uh, X, X, uh, Midnight Carnival, Isuka. Well, no, don't count Isuka. Don't count. Uh, okay, it's Reload. It's the, the first, the first X uh, X two. Hulk. Reload slash fourth. Uh, well, X and Core went through, through two. Yeah. Two iterations. If you X don't count Core and X and Core R. Or yeah, if you don't, if you well, X and Core R is that the the the. the uh, yes, it was released in both physical and on and as download, I believe. Oh, okay. uh, the main ver main difference is that the uh, R Action Core R uh, had the story mode to it. Well, well for, uh, I, I think for most of us, we probably just like the last version we played was the Action Core Plus on PS2. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, well, it went through uh, at least two action core went through at least two iterations. I I, I, can, I can only imagine that this will go through the same. Uh, I I'm ex I'm expecting there to be an yeah. update sometime soon. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to do I'm that. Now not, I want to do. I don't, I'm hoping it's not like Blade Blue though, where it's like oh you get, yeah, you get, you, get some, you get another update like within like less than a, a year or something. And yeah, that's like, one of the things that turned me off on Blade Blue so much. Then then it. Uh, Ow, like, whales. It, it, can, it, it, it creates a problem for like the comp like Evo. Remember like uh, when Continuum Ship got announced? Uh, yeah. And it was releasing before Evo, and so just, they decided to drop Calamity Trigger because no one was playing it anymore because they moved on to Continuum Ship. Yeah, that just made things really weird. Now, have you guys ever played the original Guilty Gear? Or no? Uh, not no, the original. No. That's on the Dreamcast, I believe. We, we did see a copy of that at SC3. Someone was yeah. selling it for, what, 40 bucks? But oh, wow. It, it wasn't yeah. even complete in box, though. But but if you wanted to play it, I, I'll, I, I don't know the prices on it. So. Well, have you ever played it, Kevin? No, no, no. I've always been curious. I mean, it, this oh, is okay. kind of like uh, the Street Fighter, oh, where it's like, you know, everyone's jumped on on 2. And then when you go back and play one, it was it was terrible. I'm hoping yeah. Guilty Gear One was was a great game. It wasn't <laughs> terrible. It just looks a lot dated compared to the later yeah. iterations. Of course, of course, games, of course, for the time it it was like, whoa, this game looks awesome. Blah, blah, blah. I, well, it was I, also probably a lot more broken because instant kills were a lot easier. I think you could combo instant kills. Yeah, I still personally part. really love uh, KOF '94 and '95, even though those are dated games. <laughs> you know, a lot of people would. Agree with you on that one. Mm -hmm. It's like 
Because those are kind of where, I think those are where the Kiowa series kind of started to be feel more refined. Yeah, and they just took all their properties and you know educated and they brought yeah. them to one franchise. And... It's kind of like what Capcom started doing. They started bringing all the other properties into Street Fighter, like uh, Final Fight and what was the other one? God, it was Fire, Final Fight and fuck something else. I don't know. I think it's just Final Fight. I'm trying to think of Joe Bongo. Yeah, I think it's just Final Fight. It might just be kind of bullshitty. I forget. How do I burst again? It's a dust and a, and one of the attack buttons. Okay. Oh, those whales! No, you got it. Oh. Clutch. Anime! <laughs> the power of anime! Oh, dude, that was clutch. Oh. There you go. Oh, You're good. But the elbow to the shin. <laughs> That's totally what I wanted to do. I love how the soldiers in the background are panicking, trying to figure out what to do. It's like, should we get involved? Should we help? Well, we look bad for trying to arrest this little girl. I'm basically just playing a uh, tie like how I did an action four, or just yeah. guilty XX. A lot of it, uh, a lot of it translates well. It does. Uh, they didn't really change a whole lot from uh, as far as Kai is concerned. So yeah, I think they did, they did give him some new functionality with his uh, seals that he can place. So if he shoots a uh, stun edge on those, then they, they'll get super powered. Yep. Yeah. So like you can see when he does his dust move, he places the seals in the area. So if you shoot a stun edge on those, it'll charge him up. I mean, that's a bit, that's an extra layer to Kai's game plan. Yeah. For a second there, you were talking about uh, Kai's seals, but I was talking about that you were talking about my seals. Oh. Uh, otters and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's not really a seal, but it's a uh, some sort of sea it's... mammal thing. So well, uh, it is spelled the same way, so I mean, that's very true. <laughs> it's a stealth pun, that's what it is. I've been uh, lately getting into, uh, you know, I got the Neo Geo Pocket Color, and uh, we're talking, you know, me and Gerald were fans of the uh, CU podcast. Oh, yeah? And uh, one, of the guys, <laughs> one of the guys, Ian, he uh, was suggesting that I go try the Wonder Swan Color, because they apparently there's a Guilty Gear on the Wonder Swan Color. Oh, that's right. Um, and it's done in, like, the chibi Match of the Millennium style. Yeah. So. Speaking of uh, G Guilty Gear on, uh, on uh, Portable, did anyone have... And then you guys ever played DS, the Guilty Gear DS, the Dust Strikers? Dust Strikers. No, I had. no, it was a pretty good I think I still have that, that one. That? Like I, it's kind of more of a Smash Brothers take on it. It's okay. Like four player matches, platforms there's some or platforms, yes, there's some items around, but not too much. The, like, I don't know, because I, I don't imagine that really trans. Uh, you know, translate it, too well. It doesn't. Know. It doesn't. Yeah. Well, there's a, unfortunately a lot of stuff that that was on consoles just didn't, in my opinion, didn't translate over to the DS very well. I mean, like, uh, when they ported this Gaia over to the DS, that just ended up being uh, very watered down. Yeah. And that's interesting, because I, I almost think the DS would be able to handle it. You would think. I like, almost thought that like the, the DS would be great for strategy RPGs because you could just point to uh, use the stylus to the point where you want to move on the grid or something. But it just ended it, it, it just ended up being gimmicky. It's like ah, I got yeah. the controls just do it the traditional way. Please. Oh Jesus! Ooh. Hello, honey, I'm home. I will say, uh, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Do, do I, if I were to uh, guess, like, uh, 
it, seems, it, it almost seems like. Uh, oh crap, baskets. Uh, it don't, like the way you're playing. The way you're playing Stop right now is like. Uh, one of the very one of Quanchi's variations. I I think it's so, I don't know if it's sorcerer, oh the teleports you mean the one where he like he she puts half of his speed through like a yeah a, it's a so portal, it's so goofy you, and he kicks you from the other side it's so goofy but I love it yeah that's what, that that move where he disappears and he opens the door that's what it kind of reminds me of and dies to play me like she's now on except instead of punches it's dolphin punches. I didn't know dolphins could punch. Oh, they can punch. Uh, they can punch really fucking hard. Wouldn't that be a headbutt though? Uh, technically, yeah. All the items. Oh. oh. Nice. Ow. Oh god, what are you doing? I don't know. I was trying to. Whoa. Right, right, right in the. Uh, right in the dick. <laughs> Oh, anchor to the dick. <laughs> it's not quite as bad as a jigsaw to the dick, though. That didn't work. Oh, my oh god, I'm rusty at I'm really rusty at this. It just does a pirouette. Going back to uh, the handhelds, if you guys ever play that KOF on Game Boy Advance. I didn't even know that exists. I didn't that? know either, but it sounds terrible. No, trust me. That was the one that translated well. Really? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. Is that Game Boy Advance? Yeah, Game oh. Boy Advance. It's like. It's basically a full like, I think 2000, uh, 99 style. Oh, like 2099, and Caleb didn't get that. No, far. no, no. <laughs> what is I, this? I, I said it in reverse, <laughs> but I meant uh, the year 99. It's like, what is this? Uh, like, are they doing a crossover with the Marvel 2099 series? <laughs> Swimming! I'm, I'm out. What is this? What do I guess? Pick. Fuck! Oh, oh, God! Fuck! Damn you, Angel! I thought angels were good things. They're never good for me. They never work for me. So was that a super move or uh... Yeah, that's one of Foss uh, overdrives. Oh. Fuck! Get out of there! Get him, Mini Foss! <laughs> Just do it anyways. Whee! Hi! Uh, I was taunting <laughs> for some reason. Bunza! But she looked like she was having fun before. She was enjoying she, uh, herself. She died. She was what enjoying controller herself. is that, Kevin? I am number three. Okay. All right, I have oh. been dethroned. I will now scratch my balls. <laughs> Very eloquently. You guys will not get to see it. Have the luxury of seeing it at home. But uh, I want you to picture it. That seems to be what I talk about a lot on this uh, show. My balls. It seems to be a recurring thing. <laughs> yeah, can we get shirts of that? Kevin's balls. Yep. For Red Man I'll put it in production <laughs> immediately. <laughs> the Kevin Dung uh, Red Man Gaming. <laughs> my balls? My balls. Yep. Out of there. <laughs> uh, Kai Kisuke. No one's gonna play as Sin Kisuke? I haven't unlocked him yet. Oh no. He's the uh, head of the Xanarkin Apes. Were we just, <laughs> make, we were just making that those jokes last, last night? Yeah, yeah. For those at home, uh, I, I, I sometimes host uh, Ink Player Smash Nights. And, uh, so who are they playing as? The guy from Xenoblade Chronicles? Uh, Shulk. Shulk, so we were just making really bad, uh, Final Fantasy X references by, uh, everyone, really, but it's my cousin and I. Just well, it's because it was an actual name down there that was, with, that no, was we're Cheetah. Yeah, we're named Cheetah, so yeah. Well, it's like this... Well, last night's shenanigans could pretty much be summarized with, um, Amiibo Terminators. <laughs> Fucking Mexican summoning Mexicans. Uh fuck, I'm trying to concentrate and talk to the It's okay, time. but just letting you guys know one of these days. We it are doesn't gonna... matter, I'm playing really shitty right now, so we're gonna have to record one of our e player snatch nights just so uh you can see all the craziness. Like, oh that probably was I can see you! I can see you! Oh, nope, didn't work. I can see you! Ow, 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 ow. I probably should stop trying that. Guess what, Mike? 
What? I can see you! <laughs> <laughs> I love the voices in this. I don't know. Uh, the, the English, English voice acting is okay. Some people hate dubbing. I kind of like, I'm going to have nostalgia for it, you know, because I'm from that VHS era of the... Bad, no, bad 90s bad anime 90s voice anime. acting. The yeah. way I see it, it's whatever you heard first is what you're gonna like, for, uh, what you like better. Yeah. Because uh, when it comes, like when it comes to Sailor Moon, I I've listened to the, the the Japanese version of it. It sounds way too outdated for yeah. me. Uh, and whereas I prefer the 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 deep uh, English version. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. The one that was like on 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 uh, channel thir on channel thirteen. Yeah, like, yeah. Like even long, long time ago. It was UPN or her, yeah, her, her local network. K or it was KCLT. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, this might hurt. No, I typically watch anime and uh, so but I, I I still like dubs. I don't hate them. Nah, I don't, nah, like I don't hate dubs. I never get it, upset it really, about it. It really depends. I remember when I listened to the dub for GTO. That was one of the worst I have ever. Is like, it really that bad? Everyone sounds like like Mura I think Mur all, all, yeah, Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted impersonators. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, like all all like. Like Mirai uh, and like his friends, they all sound the same. They all sound like stoners, surfers, the uh, uh, RVD. Uh, oh, RV. Imagine RVD voicing anime. <laughs> and he's always wearing his wrestling singlet while he's in the yeah. studio. No, uh, behind the scenes for GTO the dub, I can't do anything. It really was oh, two guys. Man. Most of two guys doing all the voices. Really? It yeah. Was, uh, like, Wendy Lee and the, uh, you know, the guys. Yeah, that is it, right? Like uh, uh, do you want uh, Europe? Kevin? Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom. No, Steve Bloom and Wendy Lee. Uh, switch the controller three. Got it. Win. Yeah, I generally all for um, English voice acting. Yeah. As long as they put effort in making it decent. Yeah. When it comes to KOF, though, I I, I don't care for English I think voice most ev most people would like to if, if, uh, pretend that KOF 12 never happened, except yeah. for the fact that it has hilariously bad voice acting. Yeah. When it comes, but, but um, again, it's it's because what I've been listening to for years it was the only thing available. It's like, but I I, I just think the. The, the voices are just way too yeah. iconic. Uh, no, here's or, the, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. They didn't even give Terry an English voice. They just kept all of his Japanese voice. Well, because he says everything in English. Exactly. Right? So, <laughs> so, so the most American guy sounds very Japanese. I know, <laughs> right? You know, so yeah. it's, it's very goofy. It is. It's hilarious. I mean, it's not, uh, uh, to me, it, it sounded weird uh, hearing Yori say stuff in English rather than like his typical, uh, what was it he said, uh, they, they can't, they, they translate to English as, this isn't the end, you know? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's an, uh, I mean, what he says in Japanese is already long, ridiculously long as it is, it's like, how, how do you have enough time to say that when you're getting uh, your ass knocked out or something like that? Well, it's like Maximum Impact had uh, English, uh, English voice acting, and Yori's voice in that one actually wasn't too bad. I hate that game. A lot. It's different. I'll say that much. You wanna know why I hate that game? It's because uh, when I first played that, uh, I, I played it at Kevin's, and the first like everyone decided to play party mode, and I was, uh, I was playing against uh, one of the, the the legendary constructor Andrew Lovato. <laughs> No, uh, well, I was, play I was playing against Andrew, and uh, um, he uh, like in party mode, you get all these, you get you get these random stat modifiers. They could be buff, they could be nerfed. So it's kind of like test your luck mode in full combat. Yeah. What well, here's what uh, Andrew got: uh, life regeneration, and I got half damage. And even though I was doing these oh, I really I was, good, I I was doing these combos, these long combos. Because he was getting, uh, I had half damage and he had regeneration. He was just getting back every single thing I was doing. It was like I could not win. So from, from that one bit, I was like, screw this game. I, I never want to play it again. That's you know, hilarious. From a basic standpoint, uh, two is not too bad. Actually, yeah, the, just, the games are not too defined. They're not. Well, it's their, it was one of their first attempts at 3D fighters. Yeah, but for 3D fighters, it's better than most 3D fighters. It <laughs> is actually. That's the, that's the whole funny thing about it. I can't get into 3D fighters. I'm sorry. But, uh, 
I, I, would, I would say, like, well, probably the only thing I liked about Max of an Impact for the out, like, were the, were the character, out, like, the new outfits that they came Oh, uh, yeah. I liked a lot of that. It's like... The, the only 3D fighter I really uh, got into was, like, Dead or Alive. Uh, but it's, like, even, I, I could, oh, like, I think uh, you gotta be crazy to even, tr like, even if you're not, like, a... You're, 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 you're not heavy into it. I would think yeah, you, you'd have to be crazy to even Fuck! say. <laughs> I'm just really again, lucky again. You'd have to be crazy to say uh, maximum impact is better than even the first Soul Calibur game or something. Yeah, that's, that's that'd really be a cool. huge claim to make. Yeah. Well, they're two different styles. I mean, I wouldn't say that either, but I mean, they're two different styles. Like, maximum impact is trying to be a team fighter in, in the 3D graphics and yeah. sidestep. Yeah. Whereas, you know, Soul Calibur is entirely different. You know. It is. There's a, it's like two different formulas that. So it's like they can technically exist in the same plane without too much conflict. Right. It's not like they're trying to come to choose between Tekken and Soul Calibur, which is one is from the same company and two follow some similar the rules. I mean, but if, if if we're going that way, what can you compare it to? I mean, the only thing I could think of it is Fate Unlimited Codes, and Fate Unlimited Codes code blows, in my opinion, blows uh, Maximum Impact out of the water. I mean, I'm not, I, we're not ever going to say Maximum Impact is Maximum Impact. No, I no, mean, no, no one's going to say but, that. Uh, but if, but if uh, we're saying it's uh, it wasn't yeah. bad for what it is, like, no. like, comparing it to others, what, is, what else is there to compare to if we're, if we're specifically uh, going Battle kind of, of, kind of, kind of <laughs> Which is one of the very first games. Uh, which, is a PS, which is a PS1, which is a launch time, which is a pack in for the PS1. Yeah. Was it really? Yep. What I liked about Toshinden was the, oh. the, the heavily accented English voices in there. <laughs> who were obviously by, done by Japanese people. Ow. I also liked it when AG, uh, when he yeah. did his victory pose, he said no problem, but his mouth only moved once, so I was like, yeah. well, how do you, how the hell do you say that once? Well, uh, how do you, how do you say that with, like, is he a ventriloquist too? I was gonna say ventriloquism. I did mean, I say ventriloquism? Quism? This is just wow. my opinion, but, uh... I get more enjoyment from Max Infect 2 than I do from a certain fighting street. The one that's the fourth one in the series. <laughs> <laughs> Without saying exactly what the game is. Mm. I am sure you could figure it I out. I think we can put the pieces together. I still like hyper fighting over the uh, um, certain fighting Sorry, let game. me adjust the mic a bit. It's all good. Just want to make sure I'm catching everyone. Hmm. But <laughs> I think when you're trying to make a 3D fighter or trying to turn a 2D game into a 3D fighter, it's there's a lot more to take into consideration. Cause there was some pretty goofy shit in Maximum Impact. Yeah. It's like half the characters had some kind of Ganesian super. I guess we are uh, comparing directly. Then. Yeah, I, Maximum Impact is better than. EX series. Oh. <laughs> I don't even get started on EX ones. I mean, I like some of the characters in EX. I wish it was a, I think it was if, a Capcom developed one. If not for the fact that it was a different person that designed the characters for the EX games, then we would probably be more likely to see characters like Skull Mania making a return. <laughs> But unfortunately, because copyright is a total fucking bitch, that's not really gonna happen. I wanna say that the company was the week. Something like that. I'm not doing that. Don't All I know is that Capcom does not technically own the characters to the... Yeah. To the EX games? Yeah. Since it was, uh, kind of... I don't know. I don't really know the details of it. But it's really It was developed by another studio. Yeah. It's really fucking complicated. And it really shouldn't be. Well, I don't think anyone else has such affection for those characters. Or <laughs> there's people like me who did own that game. Yeah. EX3 and EX Alpha were going to that play. And, uh, and then I think that's where games like Guilty Gear are kind of put. Because um, Guilty Gear is known for having really high quality 2D visuals. And Exert, again, just pushes that to the boundary, not even using a 2D engine, it uses a 3D one. That was good. 
And I like how this is a game that came out like this year, right? Last uh, this year, late, it was like December or January. It was last year. Late okay. last year. Yeah. yeah, very late last year. So, you know, I love that games like this are this is still coming out. You know. Yeah. They they could have easily just made this a straight up. You know, I'm going to pick a different character. Dark and gritty. May has a six pack. Shy. May has a six pack. No, I'm talking about if they had gone the route of taking an entirely different art direction. I like that this is strictly like an anime style fighter. You know. Yeah. But at the same time, it just the visual, the way they did the visual presentation, it just you would you wouldn't think that it was a it was 3D. It's like when you saw when you see the first trailer and you see Sol and Kai standing there on the 2D plane, and then they clash and the camera pans around. It's like ah. <laughs> I want to let this play out because Leo White Fang is really just probably one of the best characters made. He's pretty much just full on justice incarnate. I do love uh, these intros when you know the intros really like. Juxtaposed together, are really, yeah. Like, really different. It looks like when May comes in, it's an entirely different uh, background. Like, show to get all together. Yeah. Where the ship come from? Doesn't look like a ship could uh, get into the city or something. Wasn't um, it? Yeah. Wasn't it all blue skies? Now it's all dark and gray. I have no idea how Leo plays, by the way. All uh, I'm noticing is that I'm suddenly I'm doing a move where I can cast a reflection of a shadow image of myself. I thought you knew what you were doing. That's why I was all terrified for a second. Vaguely. Oh, I don't even know. Ow, ow. Whatever. Oh god, whale! Whale! Yeah, Leo's kind of more uh, offensive oriented, but he has a lot of ways that le moves that leave himself open, so you kind of have to be very careful with what you do. I don't even know what that does! All I know is hilarious because it just. It turns up the heat, apparently. <laughs> oh, he has stance changes too. It's like he has one stance where his back is facing you, and then, uh, and then his it's moves different. Guess, but I get the feeling that he's based off a lion. <laughs> but what kind of lion is named White Fang? That's like a wolf name. I, I don't know any. I don't. I don't know any mm. white lions. Oh wait, there's Kimba the white lion, but he doesn't. Oh. Exist, he doesn't exist over here. He's Simba over here. Oh. But he, and Simba's yellow. Uh, we're growing in deep with this one. Oh, Girls rule! Mm. <laughs> Isn't that just a wonderful line to hear out of eating a chip? <laughs> <laughs> well, if they had jam in this game, I'd probably like this game a little bit more. I was never really that big on jam. I haven't played the story mode, like, but they kind of tease a bunch of characters in a problem. They kind of do. I mean, I didn't well, finish it. They, I well, ja yeah. Jam was my main character in, well, in Slash before they made her suck in Accent Core. Well, they show Johnny character. heavily in the story mode, so I imagine they'll add him in at some point. <laughs> so you, for me, you could you, you could use the no mind, no buy argument mm -hmm. for when it comes to Jam. I can't think of a, uh, a money word that rhymes with Jam, though, so I can't use the... No same. jam, no bam. <laughs> no, <laughs> no bam, no. <laughs> no slam. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. <laughs> something, something. Give us jam, or we will make you slam. Something space jam. <laughs> Big anchor. Yeah, some changes to me that uh, in this game I I kind of miss like, the 
command for the grab is a lot different. I, I think did pulse. they simplify it or? They made it a little bit harder mm. than what I was used to. Games, that used to be a big strategy of mine. Yeah, they changed and it to the corp, the Dragon Punch motion kick. But actually, they changed it to the with the patch. Oh, then. Yeah, so um, try doing that when you get a chance. Just uh, Dragon Punch kick. Okay. I will. At home. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I just love the backgrounds, they're so fucking... Yeah, dude. I just look at the scenery of this game and I just... I mean, yes. <laughs> I also like the scenery of this game. Sorry. And that was Why that that was like, I swear it was! Does, uh, does Razzing uh, do anything? Respect like, or... Uh, Raz. Oh, you mean taunting. Um, <laughs> That's like I don't... the Dreamcast KOF, uh, what they call taunting. I, th I think taunting actually gives your opponent meter. Oh, did it really? Or maybe it's... I think respect doesn't do anything because it's a show of respect, but taunting, death, I think, at least gives your opponent oh, meter. Oh, boy. God damn, I just no I was noticing how much damage that whale did and I was like, fuck. Uh, comes out pretty uh it comes out pretty fast. It comes out decently fast. If you um if you can get on reaction to something then the Yeah, that's why it really to the I don't usually use overdrives for in combos, but then again, I play a character that doesn't necessarily have too many overdrives to use in combos. I mean, I haven't really tried doing the swimming uh, overdrive with boss in a combo, but the da I just know the damage scales horribly if you try to do it that way. Is that your main? Bounce? Yes. Uh, in older Guild Gear games, it'd be between Faust and Zappa, but Zappa's not in this yeah, one yet. You play the weird ones. Of course, <laughs> they're the fun ones. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I can never get into Blaze Blue because there's no charge character in that game. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, so I've always been a fan of Mage. It's kind of interesting. It's a yeah. very aggressive charge character. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Fornax! Uh whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I had something but I had a chip in my mouth. Who dares to enter the maze? Um Let's try give Slayer a run. It kinda changed him a bit up a bit too. I was kinda Slayer's voice the voice act boys? It almost sounds like the actor was trying to do his best Sean Connery and pluck pression. <laughs> it's kind of what it sounds like. Is this where you insert your best Seven Sean Connery impersonation? One, one. Let's rock. Well, why am I being forced to fight a little girl? <laughs> Damn it, Trebek! Get me out of this place! Trebek, like Alex Trebek? Alex Trebek. You're, you've never seen that SNL skit? Nope. Oh, wow. You... Uh, I'm not an- I, I'm a Mad TV guy, I'm not an SNL guy. Yep. Of course, it, when I say I'm a Mad TV guy, it's like, it's, it's, it's all a little sad, though. Yeah, I forgot Mad TV is still relevant. No, it's been canceled for a while. Yeah. It's been gone forever. <laughs> like, the magazine or the show? The show, it's been okay. gone for- Yeah, the magazine still goes on. Yeah, but the- uh, Mad TV has been gone. I mean, it, it went downhill after like a lot of the main stages yeah. left, so... Yeah. Anyway, back to the game. Dolphins! That girl Dolphins was, versus bats! That, that girl was just giving golf claps occasionally. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Slayer's wife. Oh, uh, okay. Does she just appear in any every stage? Um, no, just in, just in Slayer stage. Okay. Ow. But the thing is that she's pretty much immortal in that because Slayer is constantly draining her of her blood and she keeps coming back. Oh, uh, okay. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. I don't know. It's like, 
Oh, now she. Oh, the she she changes like she does, just like uh, in the in the in the the flying the, the, the Noah ship. Oh uh, yeah. In, uh, King of Fighters. Yeah. She's, uh, she's drinking tea, just like uh, just like Rose does occasionally. Ow. Like a deadly short swing blower. Right yep. It's not over yet. He's missing me, dude. <laughs> I keep missing you. So we're kinda <laughs> even on that front. Oh, there's his little Danny ste step. Danny step. <laughs> I I've never really seen this post that he has, like standing in Oh, this might hurt. Ow. And he still has the thing where he's if he gets defeated, he's just laying down like it, he's yeah. just taking a nip, taking a break. He's actually completely fine. He <laughs> is. That's what Elizabeth does in Persona Persona Four uh, Arena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she just laying down. She just lays down. And she smiles. I guess because she's that much stronger than everyone else that like it's not yeah. he's not actually being defeated. Slayer does that, but cause he's a vampire and he just doesn't die that easily. I wonder I wonder uh, what uh, Margaret does when she gets knocked KO'd in persona. I haven't didn't download her, so I wouldn't know. Oh okay. She wasn't free? No. Who was the free one? It was was it Mario or is it Adachi that was free? Adachi. Okay. okay. I forget, was the dodgy voiced by Johnny Young Bosch? No idea. I'm trying to remember. It's like, cause of all the voices. I, didn't, I didn't like the English voice acting from Persona 4 all that much. Yeah, there was some, there was some more notable ones. I met a uh, Matt. I met Matt Mercer for the voice of Kanji at, a, at, a, at an event. Cool guy. But um, as far as guilty are concerned, the one uh, English voice that I have a problem with the most is Souls, because his voice just he has no emotion in it at all. It just sounds like he's trying to do his do a cross between Steve Bloom and the Batman from the recent trilogies, Throat Cancer Batman. Oh. <laughs> it's like some kind of cross between those two. It's like tries way too hard to be corrupt. Give her a play, uh, what's, the, what's the Metal Gear Solid game that's on PS2, the second one, the Metal Gear Lights? Uh, Peace Walker. Peace Walker, Peace Walker yeah. yeah. There's a there's a part where Steve Bloom is talking to Dave Vader. Oh. Really? And it's just like two guys. Talk to each other with the same voice, <laughs> trying to see who will orgasm first mm, 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 to the sound of their own deep voice. Oh man! It was interesting uh, was hearing them talk to each other because they they do the same. They, they're typecast doing the exact same kind of like. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can understand that. <clears throat> All right. Zato. Yep, he's. They specifically name him Zato instead of Eddie here. Because he actually has control of his own body. Well, what happened is that uh, he died at the end of Action Corp, but he was resurrected afterwards. But he just. He's not the same person. He just has no emotions left at all. When he was uh, Eddie, was that a reference to Eddie Vedder? I think so. I'm not sure. Like Pearl Jam fame? Probably. I mean, there's all music radio There's a, a lot of like, musical references. Like May is for Brian May. Yeah. Queen, My name is Sato you know. One. Yeah, I haven't Her really... The is very queenish. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really looked into too much into Eddie's uh, musical references. What if it's Eddie Vedder? Jeremy Spokane! <laughs> Please! I just love that grunge voice. It's just so funny nowadays. Whee! Very good. Whee! Come back here! Never! I'm gonna put you back to that Whee! Ghost and Goblins game you came from! I like it here. Where's a high jump? Just being stupid? Yeah. <laughs> Am I just being stupid? Nah, I, well, Sato has his ability to fly because of the symbiote. 
Aggressive play. Yeah, it's just, just you know everything's just. Does everyone have different right. runs in this game? Because it, uh, it feels different. Like when I try to run with Kai, it's, it's very slow. It's a bit different. It's a bit different for each character. Slayer has his phase dash. Potemkin okay. can't dash at all. Yeah, I know. I know that. Uh, well, uh, for me. Uh, oh shit! I, I really wanted to go to Neo Neo New York, but it's probably more interesting than I put the stage on. <laughs> What do they call New York in a uh, Futurama? Uh, is it just New New York? Heaven or <laughs> I have I no idea. Okay. It's been a long time since I watched that show. I was a fan back in the day, but yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. Going there. Gerald picking it, picking it up. Uh. Come on, Gerald! Kevin's been oh. kicking our asses today! Oh. oh, he's losing it. Oh, dude, he got me. Oh, he did? Yep. Uh. There we go. He does the whale. Oh! I don't know why you jumped into that. I was trying to do this. Do oh, I didn't, I, I didn't have the. Uh, oh, you didn't have super. meter. Because that I could just do the super. That thing's not as fast uh, as it seems. Yeah. There's still a bit of a startup to it. Are there are there overhead attacks in this game? Uh, yes. I just don't know what the collect highs are. Oh, okay. Other than like jump attacks. That? Greed Sever, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, Greed Sever counts as an overhead. Okay. Oh! oh! <laughs> okay, that was a pretty, t that was a pretty cool exchange there. Yeah, I wasn't sure where that was gonna go. Yeah. Oh! Oh shit! Uh, that might catch! I think we don't do Maze the uh, Crouching Hard Slash Sweet Terrible. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. What is it again? Oh, it's this one. That one? Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. These are wide open. Oh, no! I see you! 
<laughs> I can see you! <laughs> That's okay. Being as I'm playing as May, if you can hear the audio. Mr. Dolphin! Mr. Dolphin! <laughs> Mr. Dolphin! Mr. Dolphin! Girls rule! Oh, God. <laughs> Girl's running in the back! Yes. Oh. No, those pokes! Those pokes! No, we think he got it. He got it. Oh! He got it! He got it. <laughs> nice. All right. All right, let's move over to this uh, All right. here. Truly, it was the guiltiest of years. Let's do one more, and then we'll call it. Okay. It's okay, even though I have lost after a seven-win streak, <laughs> I can still bench press every single Kai cosplayer out there. <laughs> if you find me at a con, I challenge you to a gentleman's duel. I'll go ahead and give that. Which probably won't be the case, as most of us won't be attending AX this year. Oh yeah, nope. It's, it's, it's highly unlikely. Nope. If you just happen to be a crazy guy walking down the street dressed as Kai, I'm just <laughs> I will challenge you to a duel. You're yeah. not so tough in real life, and, and I will slap you with a tilapia. I mean, uh, er everyone's at like what is it, Famine Con right now oh, or yeah. something? Famine Con. Famine. Con. Famine. Famine Con. I, I want. I find Bedman's very interesting. Bedman! Bedman! So, he's not. He doesn't actually say anything during the entire match. And I don't want to see up this guy's skirt. It, and then at the end of the round, he just blurts everything out at once. Like, he does literally does not know how to enunciate his words or use punctuation. So, he's got an interesting mechanic in that if I can use a move, and then. Hold on, let me. If I use a move, and then something... Well, he's got a mechanic where... Ah, something. Hold on, let me see if check the move list real fast. Because he's got a mechanic where if you if you do a move, then it'll leave a little icon on the screen. And then if you're near that icon... Okay, it's a deja vu's. The deja vu's allow you to do the same move, but do a shallow version of that move. So... It's interesting. It's very different in a way. Okay, so so if I throw this out and then do the deja vu version, it'll play it'll play the same move over again. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll do it'll do that. And so it's kind of an interesting. It's a little different in a sense. So I can do things like that and set you up for follow-ups. Oh, okay. And I. I can only have one of those icons up at a time, though. Now, what is the story of this dead man? He lives kind of in an alternate reality, alternate space, like a dream world in a sense. Okay. So, and he's kind of trying to influence the events to his advantage. But, but in, in, in actuality, he is asleep the whole time. He is actually asleep the whole time. Yeah. Oh, I got thrown. So where do we get? Where? When do we get the game where we're in Deadman World? <laughs> That's a good question. We should actually, get the Deadman World game where none of it matters because it is all a dream. <laughs> I think it was called Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh yeah, that's right. He wants to know that they don't need to be dead. Yeah, the original, the, the original title of it. Oh uh, yeah, it's a, that's a... Oh yeah, okay, you can still stop it pretty hard. Uh, I just find... Ow. I don't know any of this guy's overdrive. Close. 
There we go. No. Yeah, he's really hard to use. It seems like the, there's really no uh, uh, such thing as wake up reversals in here because uh, I can't. Uh, not I really. Can't, it's not. I can't do them in here. It's not really that lenient on. Wake ups aren't really that lenient on here. Man, that move is really good, actually. Ow. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, see how I can kind of set you, set you up for the that kind of stuff? Ow. Okay. Oh, that worked. Oh crap! <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, whoo! God, that was a little. I was really trying really hard there on that one. So I just went. Whoa! Yeah. It's like uh, Rufus in Street Fighter 4, where his, uh, his post-fight win quote is... Just a massive wall of text? Well, not, I think it's an actual condition in Batman's case. Rufus is just him talking because he's an asshole. <laughs> uh, so I think we're gonna go ahead and... still going on. Yep. So, so I, with all that Batman rambling going on, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this one on that note. Um, Guilty Gear Exert, PS3 and PS4, it's gonna be at EVO this year, main stage. Check it out. Get the game if you have it, because it's really fucking good. I'm not even joking. We're not. We're not. We're not gonna be able to do that. Oh, why'd you have to remind me? <laughs> <laughs> we still could be. We could be. We could be. We could hitchhike there. We could totally hitchhike there. It'd be dangerous. We probably run into some shady characters. Have wacky adventures. Actually, I've changed my mind. I think we will be at Evo. I think we will be at Evo. To Evo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see you guys next time. Stay hype.